Trans Global Underground formed in 1990. The original members were Mantu, Alex Kasiek, and Count Dubula. I look to my origins for inspiration. My origins are Jewish, Arabic. Um, I was born in Belgium, in a Moroccan district. My origins from my father's side are the major influences in my musical style. I sing in Arabic, French and Spanish and some Hebrew but mainly the language that I seem to sing in the most is probably Arabic. My uh, musical mentors are Abdul Halim Hafez, but he's dead. Um, Ziad Rahbani, who's the son of Fairuz. Isam Rashad, who works with me. I worked with Jar Wobble, Apache Indian. I've done a session with Love and Rockets. Worked with Mick Khan. Because I was working in Arabic nightclubs before, I was wanting to do something in, in the area of world music, which means incorporating many different things, then I thought that it would be a shame not to use the dancing as part of, you know, showing Europeans another side of Middle Eastern culture. It seemed only natural to incorporate the dancing within the spectrum of the performance. The work I was doing before I joined Transglobal um, basically encompass a lot of different areas. Uh, I'd worked as a, a kit drummer in kind of cheesy garage, 60s beat bands playing John Barry covers. I've been doing a lot of work as a, as a poet working with, um, I was writing poetry with a couple of books out, but was very concerned to take that into another area. Because of a love and an interest in Arabic music, began to study Arabic percussion, which um, involves um, a standard Arabic drum called the Darabuka or Egyptian tablet. One of the other things I'm involved with in Transglobal Underground is as a vocalist, and my background there came from uh, spoken word through performance poetry. I'm also fascinated by rhythmic vocal, the way that um, Arabic uh, players and African uh, vocalists, especially drummers, will sing rhythm as well as playing rhythm. When I first became involved with Transglobal Underground, I was very excited by the musical content of what was taking place, the crossover that was taking place. When I think of Transglobal now, I think of it as home, kind of artistically, mentally, creatively. It's a place where I'm challenged, it's a place where I've done a hell of a lot of learning. <laughs> local people that um, we started jamming with eight, ten years ago. Um, Donet, Dub Warriors, a band that uh, came out of Crowthorn, uh, called Dread Warlock. But um, Trans Global is um, a progression and it doesn't sort of um, relate to um, that sort of music. Um, mainly kind of a roots kind of. Um, old school sort of thing. Whereas Transglobal was something different. It was sort of moving, moving ahead. It was taking things to a different sphere and it's, uh, it's pretty exciting on that front. That was the hard part, incorporating the rapping. Um, before I was used to um, writing lyrics and then trying to um, work the music 
around and you know create the accents and the drops and things. But with Trans Global, you came and you, you found uh, a structure and you had to blend with it. You had to try and accent the structure itself, and um, it was a different task. And that was another thing that um, I found exciting was it was a different approach to to writing, to performing, to to rapping. Um, how I do it, I still don't know. I still don't know. I still don't know if it works or not. But um, we're going to keep trying. By wearing the mask, anyone could be wearing the mask and playing. So it shouldn't matter whether it's a man or woman or black or white. Or any, anyone could wear the mask. It's a universal uh, prop. I'm half English, half Greek, so I grew up with a lot of uh, different influences anyway, listening to a lot of Egyptian and uh, Turkish and Greek music as well as English music. I was brought up with Bertolt Brecht and Kurt Weill. And I've worked with quite a lot of bands in the past, but most of them wouldn't relate to Trans Global Underground. A lot of avant-garde and noise guitar groups and strange things. But I did work with the Reggae Philharmonic Orchestra. I mixed their first album and helped set it up with Simon Walker and Michael Riley and Winston Blissett. And uh, we were in a band together in the 80s called The Bees. And that was a mixture of reggae and rock and avant-garde and all sorts of strange stuff. And the Reggae Philharmonic Orchestra was the orchestral version of that. I've always tried to, to be involved in things that are a bit more interesting and not straight ahead. 